I previously uploaded a video of Comet Atlas uh, 2019 Y4, and I clearly stated that on the 18th of April 2020 is the best time to view it. And I didn't say it, but I was thinking through a telescope because that's the time it's the closest point to the Earth. So that's when you'll get the most detail in the telescope. But the reality is um, the best time to sit with your naked eye will be between the um, the 10th of May and the 24th of May. Um, depending on what part of the world you're in, obviously. Now, I'm currently viewing it from 51 degrees latitude north, and that applies to anywhere around the globe. So New York, uh, them sort of areas, um, and other places that are on that latitude, you will see exactly the same thing, but just at different times. Um, don't use the clock on my program because that's set to universal time. So when I've changed countries in a minute, it won't represent the real time. Um, the, so... This is great, you'll see it. Um, obviously the skies are very clear, but the best time to see it is just after sunset or just before sunrise. You know, it's very much like the planet Venus. Um, it's reflected light, It doesn't. The, the comet itself doesn't emit any light, so it's reflected light from the sun. So the best time to see it is just before uh, sunset. Oh, I got that wrong. <laughs> just after sunset. And just before sunrise. When I go down to Australia, unfortunately, it's not very good. You're not going to see, well, you won't even physically be able to see it from there. I can see it in the computer program because so I can zoom in, but the reality is, Australia, not going to see it. So, bad luck, Wolfie. Um, where's Wally? You won't get to see it, mate. Uh, but you can see it online. It will be live, I'm sure, someone will program it on live on YouTube. Uh, and I now go to New York. Um, obviously, that's a similar latitude to England, so it's going to be exactly the same view, basically. Obviously, depending on which part you view it from and what time the town position changes. So I go down to uh, the southern Spain, um, and you can see it's almost vertical there. That's because I've gone around the ball earth, and I'm looking at it from a different standing position. Now, the tower's going to be the same, but um, only from the same locations. Now looking at uh, from, I'm still in Spain actually, now I'm gonna to go to India next, and you will see it from there as well. So, uh, so it is viewable um, mainly from the Northern Hemisphere. You can see it from some parts of the Southern Hemisphere, but due to the actual time of the year, it's not gonna be viewable very well from the Southern Hemisphere. Um, there'll be certain times, if you've got a telescope, you'll see it in the dark of night if you've got long exposures because obviously it's still reflecting light, but it's not reflecting as much light. And that's why it's best to watch it just after sunset or just before sunrise. And this is the picture I've made up. Obviously it hasn't happened, so it's not physical yet. But this is what it should look like to the naked eye uh, around the 20th of May. Thank you.